Hey there. So this is just a really short uh, little video on what I've done to modify a Ego 2100 series lawnmower with a single blade to a lawnmower that uses the dual blades by Ego. Um, <clears throat> I'm not going to go through all the minutia on how to uh, put the blades on or anything like that. If you're actually looking at this video for the reason that it was made, then I don't need to tell you how to do that. You, you should already know. So anyway, first of all, <clears throat> look Ma, no battery, first and foremost. So what you can see here is that I've replaced the fan with the fan that's actually designed for the 2130 fits right on and it's much thinner this is a big deal because one of the issues with trying to do this with the factory fan that comes with the 2100 is that first of all the indexed washer the keyed washer that goes on the outside is beyond the shaft you can't use it you got to use a regular washer or do something else, and that's that's not right. Uh, secondly, the nuts and bolts are also Ego factory nuts and bolts. And if you've ever wondered why the top blade has got diamond-shaped holes in it, it's because those bolts are designed to fit in there and lock, so that you can actually turn the nut without needing anything on the back. Also, the bolts, I don't know what grade they are, but I'm going to guess that they're pretty darn hard. And they're huge compared to any bolt that I've seen used on any of the videos on doing this online without using factory components. So again, these parts are cheap. The, the, the nuts and bolts are like $2.50, 3 bucks a piece. The uh, fan housing, I think, was 12 bucks. Y you can't go wrong using the right parts. And uh, I, I will uh, list uh, the part numbers and the place that I got them from. I'm not affiliated with that place in any, any way, and if any of you that see this, if you know of another place to buy parts for this, it'd be great if you could add that to the comments so that we have more than one choice. And, and again, I'm not going to go through torquing anything, I'm not going to go through any of that, because if you're doing this, then I would hope you already know that stuff. At any rate, this is the way I did it. The blade, you can't really see it there. Just a second. The blade is actually above the bottom of the deck. I think that's really, really important. I've seen some other uh, um, videos of this where people are doing it and the blade sticks out below the bottom of the deck. I think that's way wrong. Um, you know, I mean, you, you might as well put something, if you want to throw rocks around, hey, do it. But um, you know what? I don't want to. So again, I think that this provides a far safer way of doing this. It's something that I can be completely comfortable with, and um, you know, I spent my I spent my life working in, in in an engineering capacity, and so doing this in a way that I think is safe and using factory specifications, I think is the only way to do it. Particularly when all the parts all together cost me about 25 bucks, and that includes shipping. Thank you. Have a great day, and be safe out there.